So if this last three step stages is considered the final trilogy, does that mean this is going to be bad if it's like Star Wars' last trilogy? Yes. Okay, I just want to make sure about that. <laughs> last... The Force Unleashed? Last... Oh wait, no, Force Unleashed because it's a retelling of... Uh, it's, a, it's a redo of this first, uh, like an early stage. Last Jedi because it sucks dick, and then we don't know yet. Perfect! Wait. Hold. Oh, yeah. No. Would the tree... No, mm. No, because that starts in the... Would the tree be Rogue One if we've already been there? <laughs> it could be. Although Rogue, Rogue One was a decent movie. I still maintain that fact. A lot of people actually agree with me on that one. On that one. Really? Yes. It is not that terrible. Oh yeah, so here's... Uh, I'm looking at the side of that box we've been using as a pseudo table for a while, and I just noticed it says Instant Pot. Yeah. So I just realized that I just had a huge corruption of this thing's name in my head. I just It, it came out as Alka-Seltzer. Alka Delicious. <laughs> that is not quite accurate, <laughs> but you know, considering how... Meaningless this thing is, it might as well be. Also, you got I mean, impaled, you got impaled by a D rank sword. I mean considering what it does he already wields a D rank. <laughs> he is a D rank. Darius is the confirmed a D rank because of how useless he is. I think we can agree to that one. Toss him in the ocean, like the rest of them. Man, this post sucks. I can't wait. I can't wait for uh, for Big Boss to come and steal me away. He, <laughs> uh, get uh, gets knocked out. Uh, Big Boss walks right past him. Aren't you gonna take me with you? Nah. You smell of D ranks. <laughs> I hate D ranks. <laughs> I'm allergic to D ranks. <laughs> Everyone's gonna say that we're posting over his game too much over the story. Well, I mean, you're you're a fool for trying to defend this game and try and make it good, or at least the story mode. This game is a shit, and we're posting it for you. At least if anything else, this concerned cute look from Lucina is all worth it. That is adorable. <laughs> like, if you want I, to, I don't claim. If I don't you want like, to know any of what's going on, just go watch the Ramses video. If, Fan service emblem warriors. I'm gonna be complete. I don't. I've never really quite gotten the appeal of Lucina, but she has her moments. She looks good sometimes. Oh yeah, we totally saved the mom, but Dario has kind of got uh fell, fell into the void. Oh no, I get it. He's on his way to Mel Gear Survive. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm not. That's where he does, that's where he belongs. I need to play Mel Gear Survive. I actually destroyed Phantom Pan. It's Lucina's sense of humor that does it mostly. <laughs> because Lucina, when she wants to be, can be very funny. Also, I've. Also, if I'm remembering support, uh, supports right, she uh, she's both a, she's both a terrible artist and a terrible singer, but no one has the heart to tell her because she's so sweet. Yeah, but and it's also funny because she absolutely loves Owen's sense of talking. It she's that she actually op is like it's so it, there's so much like thought and meaning put into it. I'm like, dude, you get it. <laughs> that is so good. Anyway, so he's having fun. Why am I gonna rain on his parade? Exactly. I, I find it to be great and adorable. All right, so. <laughs> Mm, you know, just because it'll never ever come again. Okay. <laughs> yes. make, you're a little dirty now. You're okay. Let's see. Are we're going? just gonna keep. Oh, I was gonna say we're just gonna keep this Azure train rolling because I'm okay with that. It's been funny. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're not wrong. But... Also, don't forget to fix your settings, which you could do from here, actually. Oh right, yeah, no, no kidding. All right, it's uh, down here. Uh, right no, it's not actually. Hit B. Uh, settings. There we and go. Actually, let me see that. Just uh, I believe I might know where it is. It's, it's literally all of them. Uh, oh, okay. <sighs> Broken armor is on, but we're having problems getting, getting it to actually work properly. Yes. Okay. Because we actually want the cutscenes. Yes, as ver that kind of defeats the purpose of a let's play. We don't have the cutscenes. I say as we did kind of do like see the duels, but you know. Details. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Come back safe. Those have got me thinking about it. Have we talked about? No, we have talked about Alexis Tipton as Lucina. Did? I yes. believe we did. And if not, well, she does. She does the emotional bits better. Lu I... uh, Laura Bailey is way too harsh sounding. Laura Bailey is good. I never thought I'd say that. But Alexis is so easy. Man, easygoing. we've come a long way since Fruits Basket. <laughs> That's a hell of a thing to drop in there. <laughs> that was, a, aside from Kid Trunks, that was her original career-defining role. Was the main character of Fruits Basket? My God. 
That and uh, Keiko from Yu Yu Hakusho. Wow, yeah, no kidding. Holy shit. She goes back to the beginning with she one of She does. Mission. God damn. That is old school right there. Alright, so... Do I have... Yeah, I'm gonna have you actually team up with you. I have a ball. This, this stage is... <clears throat> this stage is actually... Uh, not me. This stage is actually pretty small, all things considered. I don't doubt it. So you so you don't even have to worry about being long distances from anyone. Yeah. You just turn a corner and you're there. Not too shocked by that, really. Also, as long as I'm thinking about it, I'm going to quickly scan who, what other allies are on the stage and just have them team up with someone. Because generally speaking, I find it better when you can actually have... Let's see. Sakura. I actually want you to go with Azalea. Probably got Sakura. Oh, no. She's got levels on her, but not much. What? That would be good. Right. How did this never catch on? This is brilliant. Let's see here. Alright, so these enemies are about to eat shit. And it's gonna be great. <laughs> Although, first, I actually gotta switch back. <laughs> yeah. Have you team up with Sakura? I'm kind of just trying to ally with like a bunch of the side characters. So, as to both increase uh, bonds, I mean, that doesn't really mean anything to me. Or you. But, like, it's also for the Vanguard boost because I find that the side characters are way more useful as Vanguards for, like, the low characters versus, like, being your own thing if they're not strong enough for it. Also, it's just good in general. Who all do you have in the crew right now? Uh, I brought in Cordelia, uh, Elise because she's low level and she's kind of neat to use. Uh, Owen and kind of Oop, I think you might have an addiction. <laughs> Which one? Monsters? Cordelia. Well, I'm trying to get her to be to win a level because she she does have a rather nice ending, or ending. I keep saying that. Rather nice uh, end pose. Plus, I mean, it's never a bad thing to get levels on these characters. Uh, God forbid. All right. That. If I'm forced to choose a flyer, specifically a horsey, she is far from my first choice. I know. She's one of my four choices, but oh shit, uh, I gotta switch out. At least, or I gotta have at least tag out to Owen. <laughs> That'd be good. Plus, this way I have two uh, underleveled characters actually helping each other out. This is the way I get levels, generally speaking. Now imagine if I told you to leave the level confirmation on. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh god, this would take a while. Just a bit. Okay. I imagine there are people who would prefer us to do that. In which case, I say you're absolutely fucking nuts. Okay, I have an idea. Oh, so there's a villager up there. Right. Working on it. I'd rather not I'd focus on everything else, but you know what? Fine. I have an idea oh. for the lols. I'm concerned. I will allow you to, t to take Krom into a stage, paired with Navarre or someone, highest difficulty, highest level you possibly can, with a blessing that ups your experience. Uh, and Vanguard up skills turn on the level cinema uh, turn on the level confirmations because he's level like 15 and if you take him into a level 90 level <laughs> that would be ridiculous it also be kind of funny but let's not keep our audience hostage too much I thought that's why we were here <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry that's why I thought that's why she was here for Camilla yeah. Uh, no, I'm using her because she's really good. I thought you were clickbaiting. No, I, she's genuinely really good to use. I, I don't really roll with clickbait too much. I mean, her being in incredibly hot and busty just happens to be a bonus. No, she's really good. Like, you can see the amount of hits I'm doing with this. The only... That's the, the general... Disregarding her moveset, her being here in general is clickbait. I mean, if you want to look at it like that. We did it. Yay. <laughs> Ooh. Is she actually getting hits? Yeah, she is. That's fine. I'll take care of this guy, this dude first. I'm sorry, you're just not going to be able to marry the voice of Lulu. <laughs> well, darn. Uh, what do I have left to live for now? By the way, there is one really big problem that flying units do have in this game, though, and it's actually a, a big problem. So, whenever you're dashing with them, you it's there's a huge amount of landing lag when you stop to do stuff, and you can't... You can't uh, just... They slow as balls very occasionally. 
The problem with, with them when it, when they slowed when when they when they're dashing is they have to slow to crawl, which is a big a big problem. Like they have to dash, they have to land. And if you just do it regularly, they have to go through this whole animation. The thing about this is that if you you can pop a moose though when you're going max speed, no fucking problem. But you can't do things like just switch up here. You see, it's kind of obnoxious. You've got some portals to kill. I'm aware of this fact. In fact, I'm gonna be in front of a few. <laughs> Almost. It would have been funny if I brought Lisa in this age though, because then just have her team up with her son. That'd be fun. that'd be good. I mean, she's powerful. Yeah, she's level sixty. Who did you have Le Lisa do it with in order to get away on your team? I want to say Horse Boy. Stall? Maybe. Stall's good. I I I like Stall a lot actually. I think it was Stall. I gave Stall to. Th I think their support was uh, was uh, she she wanted to go shopping for a gift for Crom or something. And uh, Stall was like, I can take you or something. And by the time she couldn't find anything, he was like, you know, I can, I can help you just make something. Something <laughs> made from the heart is, is often a better gift than something you buy. Stall's a good boy. Stall's a very good boy. I, I, uh... and, then, and then she makes him dinner. <laughs> There's a similar event like that with uh, Robin himself and, and uh, Stall, too. Like, it, it actually is kind of neat. The problem that Fire Emblem has with supports of this nature that result in a, child, in a child is that whichever parent automatically determines the child, the, uh, the, other, the other parent's support is going to be the same no matter what because they're uh, just dropped into an already pre-scripted plot. Yeah. So if you have, uh, so it doesn't really matter who the parent is for, say, uh, what's a good one? For, uh, I don't know, Sever or someone, they're always... Their plot is always going to be stuck forever to, uh, to but uh, but mom does but mom doesn't love you or something. She loves that other guy. <laughs> oh, okay, that sucks. Or not necessarily that. I don't remember it exactly, but it's something revolving around. And but uh, but mom's always looking at that other guy. Yeah. Some, something to that effect. It doesn't matter who the dad is. It doesn't matter if it's Robin. No, or in my case, if it was Lone Shoe, it doesn't really it really doesn't make a difference. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah. And the same and the same thing also. Oh, hey, you also gave Cordelia to Long Poo. Good choice, and the uh, and the same and the same goes in reverse for uh, face, where the father de determines the child, the mother is always put in the same position no matter what, yeah. and they can end up acting very, very out of character. <laughs> yeah, we can pass now. I never actually knew it was preset like that for the, for the parents and children. That's actually kind of interesting. I mean, it absolutely makes sense. That's why kind of bullshit uh, though, but it still makes sense. That's why when you uncover the illusion. The idea of the incredible choice of wow, all these different characters can have a bunch of different relationships and have different various relationships with their children is a complete load of crap because, <laughs> because because half of that is completely scripted all the time no matter what. The illusion falls apart. Uh, nice. Hello. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Where's the? I can get someone on that. Hey, Marth, do you want to do a thing for me? It was like down here. If not, ha at least have him scouting something ahead. Come on. Ah, damn it, ran out just too soon. That's right. That's also part of uh, part of why I like uh, Echo so much is that there are, is that uh, supports in that game are really good because they serve a purpose to actually developing the individual sets of characters. Yeah. Also, because because you don't have to worry about maintaining maintaining a spreadsheet of different character relations. <laughs> yeah. And wait and waste about not about ninety hours just grinding out supports. Mm. And children and all the children supports and getting all the children to fuck all the other children. <laughs> yeah. I've put down uh, both fates multiple times, like for good, because I completely lost track of uh, whatever relationships I was building because I because I didn't end up playing the game for a single day. <laughs> and it's like, well, shit, I can't. I don't want to go through uh, restarting any of these or just putting them with someone else if I already put them into a relationship. Yeah. Because you do have to actually take those notes down. <laughs> okay. Why exactly? Because you because you want to have the biggest army possible. Oh god. I don't concern myself nearly with that. Okay. I like getting I like getting myself big ass armies. Granted, but I don't concern also, myself with also, nearly them. Also, the super children. Yeah, I don't. 
I mean, get, I like the idea of getting like good, really good skills on certain units. You know, that is really neat, but like I don't concern myself nearly to that degree of it. If I were to take these games really seriously, and there's some incentive to play them on like the highest difficulties or something, yeah, certainly, but not for that reason. That's just that's like if you were to it's like if you push yourself to like the max level as possible in like Final Fantasy X at 255 a pop, and they all had like the max stats, you drop 200 hours into it, but there's no super bosses. So there's nothing to put yourself to the test with. Listen, we're building the, we'll be, we're building this nuclear army of GMO children. <laughs> Slow it down there, Solid Snake. <laughs> you leave that poor boy Ryan alone. <laughs> well, like, I, I get it. I like big numbers, too. But there has to be a purpose to getting the big numbers. Like, it that's can't just be... That's why Revelations is the worst game. Because there's no point to it? Yes. First of all, the plot is the worst one, but also, you have, like, 80 characters between both armies in one game. And you could do all of it. <laughs> you can cross-pollinate both armies. Oh, good. Oh, boy, more. And uh... my god, do I ever feel like committing Sudoku. <laughs> Ooh, this is... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You are fucked. <laughs> That's a number. Hang on a sec. Where is my... Ah, there she is. Did you bring in any strong characters in? Camilla? There's that. I no, would need... I meant numbers-wise. No, she is like... She's like level 50. Oh. I don't have any level 70 plus characters, but... I don't really need to. As long as, I, as everyone else survives. You might want to get on those dragon veins, though. Because those are just yeah. kind of sitting there waiting for you to capture them. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to... Oh, Jesus. Did some of these come back? Sure. Alright, let's get this going. The suck thing is, uh, those again with the side characters, you can't switch them out, so you're kind of stuck with just building your own Muso gauge, unfortunately. Come on. How does that uh, wrestler announcer thing go? Who, uh, pure grade, organic, no GMO kick ass? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I'm not familiar with that one. Something like that. The only thing I know about that is Daniel Bryan recently went heel and is, do is portraying uh, an obnoxious vegan sort of character because he is in real life. That's the only, that's the only thing I have going for that. And, and from what I'm told, it, it is as funny as you think. Come on. But vegans are twigs. You look at you look at it from the side. He's actually you're... not. Like you can. Believe it or not, you can get built as shit if you're a vegan, but like... You, Vegans are twins, you look at them from the side and they're invisible. Not... You can get protein, not just for meat, believe it or not. Like, I know, it's, yeah, it's like... Yeah, whatever you say, Roxanne. <laughs> Wait, no, she's a vegetarian. Vegetarians are different. I know, she's done both. Oh, boy. She likes cheese. Alright. I don't blame her. No. I mean, I mean, it works for her. My sister's lost a ridiculous amount of weight. That's good. Alright, Cordelia is staying alive. Yay. Alright. Uh. Hello. Here's some unattended business. Woo. Oh, God. No, no. You are not. No, do not do that, Cordelia. I swear to God. Just tell her to yep. go the other way. I, I am taking her the other way manually. I am assuming direct control. You drive a stick? Sure, in this case I am. Alright, there we go. There's a... Dra yep, Dragon Man. Okay, cool. That said, though, yeah, Cordelia does... The, the, the Pegasus units still do have massive problems with trying to take on individual units because they do lack a lot of, like, stun power and uh, fast hits. That is a big problem they do have. Unfortunately, in my case, I... Well, actually, I can... Where the fuck is he? I mean, there you are. You're good. One of these days, I'm gonna have to actually get your opinion on Epona. Epona? Like, what does Zelda? Epona is a weapon for uh, Link and Hyrule Warriors. That was my first guess. Um, alright. Oh, shit. Wait. Oh, yeah, it's right. If you're low on health, you automatically regenerate uh, Muso. I forgot that mechanic. Well, that's in every game. So, this will definitely be. I, I find it more noticeable here than most Muso games, though. I don't, I don't know why. But this is super goddamn useful. Oh, yes. 
Because it's a, because it's a spectacle whenever one of your characters dies. <laughs> Also because I just generally find I'm more attentive to not let my characters get knocked the fuck out in this game. For a good reason. Yeah, because it's a spectacle. You don't want it. <laughs> alright. I'm not sure what you mean by being a spectacle, but alright. They make a big fucking deal out of it. There we go. I mean, so they don't make that big a deal out of it in this game. I mean, I'm sorry if this was a classic mode, it probably would be, but not in this case. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Did I ever show uh, show you uh, the reactions to character deaths in Shadows of Valentia? No. You yeah, haven't, actually. I imagine it'd be something else, though, considering how story-driven it is. Characters react pretty hard to when other characters die in that game. Oof. I'm gonna have to show you that later, because it's something else. I imagine. I, I, oh, boy. That would be something. Uh, you are right on top of that shit. Alright, let's go get that. Poor Leon uh, loses his will to live. Oh God, that's heavy crap, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, given the si I mean, given the situation. Yeah, no. I mean, I would I would lose it too if I if that mountain of muscle cow d just magically died on me. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> also, because he was genuinely one of my best units. But, uh, that too. Valmar is really good. God, Anna was here. I didn't even see that pot notification. Fuck me. Neither did I. Ugh. Valbar doesn't move very much, but he hits like a nuke. He is, I'm gonna say this right now, between Shadows of Valencia, Fates, and Awakening, he is uh, don't the single- vein in here. Oh yeah, that's right. He is the single best uh, general unit slash heavy armor unit I've ever had. Yes. Like in, like just fucking period. It's ridiculous how good he is. Best armor unit I have I have had is probably the Assassin Long Crew, like with, with the kill, killing edge. Yeah. Like just without yeah. He has literally carried me the entire game. Just it's just it's <laughs> how are you so good? He is afraid of women. He is. Gabe, you're gonna keep doing that. Not that I don't mind. It's very funny, but <laughs> the tower is repaired. Yay! And I the think. bell's not shaking. And there's no bell. <laughs> It's gone. Oh god damn. Okay, there we go. Ring the light of Shandora! <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good. Oops. Oh yeah, there's a thief back here. <sighs> oh no. One Piece been treating you good? Absolutely. Oh, I've never really discussed uh, how, you know, uh, Water 7 and A's Lobby went for me at the end. Oh yeah, that's right. I haven't asked you very much about the specifics. No. We can discuss it later since we're almost done with the game anyway. Also, I do love something fan. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I do love how Owen is, is like a total Chuni character, but like his funny. the powers he. Uh, no. I uh, said but funny. I said Chuni character. I said funny. Oh, yeah. But the the powers he, he's talking about are actually completely real. Yeah. It's funny how that works out. And. Yo, there was an awakening bottle behind you. Oh, shit. As Owen. <laughs> Not gonna grab it? Nah, it's okay. I need to have. Which will get his full moves. I need to have you take care of that guy. Actually, now I need to have the, my army focus on specific characters in general. Oh, uh, good idea. Wait, who the hell? Are, oh, god damn it! Did it just bring up? No, it didn't. Okay. That's a powerful dragon. Yeah, I'm thinking I need to bring in uh, different means of attacking these guys. So let's mix up a bit, momentarily. Camilla's right next to you. Yeah. Where do you can do that? Oh, wait. Let's have you take care of him really fast. Oh, Jesus Christ, it still did that much damage, even though I resisted it. Okay, good stuff. I don't believe there's any more archers at the moment, so that's good. Camilla's right on top of the last four captain you need to kill. Yeah, I know. Oh. Oh, okay. A little bit intricate. I thought you were trying to get uh, a Wayne's ending. I can do it too, but this has been bothering me. <laughs> You'll only have one more chance, so I really hope it's worth it to bring him in later. Well, we did say we're going to be doing at least a couple of history maps. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Individual history stages. Yes. And yeah, that is true, I suppose. At least the Lin one would be good. Uh, the Lin one and the Salika one. Yeah. I do feel like those ones will be the uh, most worthy of tackling. You know, I imagine no. you want the Lin one specifically. That one at the bare minimum, because I feel like that in itself is really interesting. It's like an entire game unto itself that is not covered in this fucking game. Again, mind you, we're not doing their whole maps. We're just doing the, the stages where you recruit them. Yeah. Also, I'm on my way to court, kill Cordelli because of this. I find her pretty, sue me. I also find her to be a good character. I like her. She's a bad character, but I like her design. I think she's good. Now we have to keep it up. Agree to disagree. You have to get this. Again, one of those things where you get the supports and she's actually pretty good. Agree to disagree. <laughs> you know, I saw this cutscene for the first time and I really expected her to be dragon corrupted too and try to stab the children. <laughs> because that would have actually been something interesting. It probably would have been, yeah. If if Owen or if uh, Darius himself wasn't corrupted, I would say absolutely. But unfortunately, that's not the case. You'd think that's some. You'd think some of that corruption would have reached her too, considering she was the intended sacrifice. Yeah, you would think so, but Kingdom Hearts is light. <sighs> Don't remind me. <laughs> We go inside the fucking moon. I'm not shocked in the slightest. I, on the one hand, I don't want spoilers for Kingdom Hearts 3, but on the other hand, I know nothing would really surprise me anymore. Besides a couple things you've shown me. 